Welcome back everybody to another video by Sander for the YouTube channel Sander Rover and today we're going back to 2021 I think it was July 2021 that this box came out um nobody gives a shit about this box so uh I'm gonna crack it and see what's inside um now everybody hates these boxes because they're uh well as you can see these boxes are very hard to stack because they don't have any, they can't hold any weight. That was the whole problem with these boxes. They couldn't hold the weight. So we're going to go in. Packs have shifted already. Yeah, these boxes were not fun, but yeah, they were put on display like this. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to put it to the side and see what cool cards we're going to get from this box. Uh... Why did I pick this box? Uh, oh, that's Demlik, by the way. The art for Demlik. Why did I pick this box? Well, uh, I'm going to play D&D tonight again. And uh, I was, well, I was like, well, uh, let's play it. By the way, what about my playmat? Do you guys like it? This is my playmat. The Negate one from Strixhaven. Uh, here we go. And we got a Triumphant Adventurer and... <laughs> Inferno, Inferno of the Star Mounts. That's a good mythic. I like that one. It's a good one for the for the uh, uh, treasure token uh, for Dragon deck. Um, anything else about this box? Uh, yeah, I thought this was going to do really well, but it didn't, and uh, it actually went really bad. <laughs> so I. Had to give out quite some of the inventory. Oh, and another... Mm, okay, we're getting Mythics here. The Book of Vile Darkness. Uh, you guys can see that, right? Yeah, that's a pretty cool card. Absolutely. Another Mythic. Uh, I don't think I've... Actually, oh, in the list card, by the way. Uh, Mirrodin? I think it was. Golden's Heart. You may get in one life. Okay, list card. Put to the side. Um, yeah, these boxes only contain, I think it was 24 packs. Uh, so yeah, there's not that much to go around, but I like the Forgotten Realms. I like the D&D. I, I, I love playing D&D. Oh, and Hive of the Eye Tyrant. That's a rare land cycle. Never went to Dryad in foil, eh, but we don't really care about that. Oh, um, before we forget, if you're new to the channel, I would really love it if you would subscribe. That Hit that button right there. Uh, it would really help out the channel. And what would help out even more is if you would leave a comment. The comments are even better, you know. Leave a comment that you're, you know, you think it's awesome and everything. You know, wh whatever floats your boat. But uh, <laughs> please comment. Portable hole. Portable hole. That's actually worth something. From what I've seen, uh, we got uh, Westgate Regent oh, and another Mythic, everybody. Another Mythic. It's the Desert Doom. I Irmi Imrith. Imrith. The Desert Doom. Wow. Okay, that's three Mythics already. Uh, that doesn't bode well for the rest of the box. Because if this is what it's going to look like, then the rest of the box is going to be crap, right? Deadly Dispute, by the way. That's a nice card to play with. Uh, so we got some Uncommons. Yeah, it's, it's you know, the Uncommons are not that interesting either. Kalein, 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 that was it. Westgate Regent. Now this is a Mythic, or a Rare, I can get back, or, or can, you know, can support. It's, uh, when it deals damage, put that many plus one, plus one counters on it. It's... It, it goes in, insane pretty quickly. If you can get it out pretty quickly. That's the... Uh, <clears throat> but if you have, like, what? A couple of... Uh, if you got a soul ring and a couple of uh, swamps out, you can just use, uh, like, a... What's that card? You get three black mana. That one. You cast one, you get three. Uh, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Um... Split the party. Now, this is a mechanic they should have put in the game, but they didn't. Party. 
they put that in the Zenikar Rising uh, stuff. So yeah, uh, Froghemoth. Uh, hold on, hold on. Charmed Sleep. Yeah, Froghemoth and a Horde Robber. Rob a Horde. That's not smart, I think. But okay. Um, yeah. Um, 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 Mom's coming up. March of the Machine. And March of the Machine Aftermath. Still. Oh, Emin Death, the Dragon Lich, the Zombie Dragon in full art and mythic. Wow. Okay. Whew. All right. I'm getting pretty good cards here. I'm getting pretty good cards. I have to admit. Uh, this is actually a pretty good box. Um, oh, and the Evolving Wilds. I'm going to put it aside because this one's uh, worth a couple of pennies. And uh, uh, it's it's an interesting one. So, uh, oh, we have another one. Another Evolving Wilds? Okay, hold on. We got Nadar, the Selfless Paladin, and, oh, that's the... No? Yeah, it's a foil one. Because it's... Yeah, that... Okay. I don't know. Hold on. If, if I can get if I can get the camera to focus on this. Okay. As you can see, the top part is the only thing. This is the only thing that's foil. As you can see, it's shiny when you compare it to this one. Hold on. Here we go. As you can see, there is a slight difference. That's the only difference on the whole card. It. It. Mm, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Here we go, focus back. But uh, that's what it is. I can't change anything about that. That's the only foil you get on those Evolving Wilds. It's just, well, you can see the card is a little bit more dull. You see that? So there is something going on. They didn't go, do a good job. That's just, let's just put it that way. But uh, March of the Machine, yeah. Uh, awesome. Oh, <laughs> Ah, Xanathar. <laughs> and the Demlich. Oh my god, look at this pack, everybody. Oh, <laughs> we have a plant. Oh my, oh, what? What? It, what? What? Come on, focus. Focus, dear camera. I just, you know. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at it. We get, we get three. Three mythics. Three. How is that possible? We get a Platinum Angel, a Demlik, and a Xanathar. I just... I, I duh, duh. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, no, it's a Mythic. I'm going to put it in the Mythic pile. Even though it's a list card. I don't care. Okay, then. That is a... That... Oh, well, the rest of the box has to suck. It, it just has to suck, right? This box cannot be... This cannot be... Uh, uh, normal. I I don't remember these boxes being that good. I I really don't. Is the autofocus still on there? There is no. It doesn't focus. I ah, shucks. All right. Yeah. This camera sometimes has uh, some iffy iffy iffies. Uh, this uh, this this placer ba uh, beast. An orcus prince of undeath. Yes, prince of undeath. Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think there's anything uh, else in this box. I mean, I've hit every th every good card, and so uh, th another evolving wild. So let's just put it with uh, you know I can make a play uh, play set out of that. Blue dragon, hunter's mark, okay, uh, devour intellect, ah, oh, hobgoblin, bandit lord. Yeah, there you go, and a null hunter and uh, nothing. Um, so yeah, uh, there is, I believe, it's rumors and hearsay that there is going to be more D&D &D stuff uh, and uh, going to be mixed up with magic. Now, I never understood why they didn't do that before, but uh, that's just, you know, what I, I think of it. Um, I think it's awesome. Dungeon Descent. That's a rare. I'm going to put it with all of the Evolving Wilds and the Hive of the Iro Tyrant. Um, then we got another, uh, list card that's from, uh, Modern Masters, uh, I think, right? That symbol, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Let's see if it focuses back. It doesn't. 
It doesn't want to focus. It's not on autofocus somehow. Ah, uh, yeah. So let's just keep it to the focus on the hand, shall we? Let's just keep it at this. Uh, sometimes you gotta deal with the hand that you're dealt. So uh, right now, this is what happens. Um, Wizard class. That's a nice card. Uh, mimic, <laughs> mimic. Oh, you meet in a tavern and a teleportation circle. Oh, and we have a. Oh no, that's just a. That's just a token. Um. And uh, yeah, so there is. Uh, I think there is more stuff coming up for D and D, but uh, D and D and magic. Uh, I, I'm just not sure what they're gonna do. I have not re heard anything else about it. Just that they're gonna look into it. Another wizard class. Ochre Jelly, nobody wants that. And a Sorcerer's Class, that, that is actually a nice card. Uh, and a Fly, an Aura, okay. Uh, enchanted Creature is flying, and when it deals damage to a couple of venture into a dra uh, dungeon. Yeah, you can do some fun shenanigans with that. Um, there you go. Yeah, no, um, and yeah, uh, March of the Machine, man, uh, stuff is being spoiled slowly, and, uh, but, <laughs> ooh, the Black Staff of Waterdeep and Grazalax, the Ithlet Scholar, okay, well, two rares, that's not bad, and a zombie token, zombies are looking cool, you, oh, sorry, did you guys not, you guys can't probably see it, look at that, look at, here, let me focus back on it, look, look at the zombie, that's a cool card, isn't it? I think it's cool. I think it's cool. But, okay. Back to uh, packing, unpacking the packs. Um, is there anything about this, uh, or about uh, March of the Machine that is worth it? I have no idea. Ooh, and the Book of Assaulted Deeds. Oh, you can pull some shenanigans with this. Uh... What was it again with the uh, with that uh, creature card, the land one, the uh, shapeshifter? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, that's another mythic. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mythics so far. <laughs> eight mythics. Oh my. Okay. Uh, yeah. That I I think. I I don't remember, but I I don't remember getting so many mythics. It's just, uh, I hardly get it nowadays. I mean, well, sometimes I do, but... Uh, oh, and Layer of the Hydra. That's a nice card for the... Uh, as, you, as you can see here. Maybe you guys don't know this card. Let me just see if I can focus on it. And here's an... Un oh, that's a list card, by the way. Gatekeeper of Malak here. A vampire warrior. Um, here, take a look at that. Look at the Layer of the Hydra. If you control two or more uh, other lands, Layer of the Hydra enters the battle tapped. To end of turn, it becomes a Hydra if it's still, and it can be zero. So, yeah, you can just make a big creature out of this. If you got mana to spare, I'm going to put it right here. There you go. Focus back. Focus on the hand. Oh, man. I got it. I don't think I've touched stuff that much, you know, as my camera is today. So, I mean, you know, don't touch yourself. Don't do that. Let's not go into that subject. Ah, oh, Blue Dragon. Okay, here we go. Blue Dragon and Wandering Troubadour. Oh, Temple of Dragon Queen. Uh, that is actually a good card if you're playing dragons. So uh, that's what this set is good for. I'm, I am going to put it over here because that card is something worth keeping. And Wish. Do you guys know what Wish is in the game? Uh... Oh, and a Helix Pinnacle. Yeah, Shroud. Okay, Enchantment. Put X uh, tower counters on Helix Pinnacle at the end of your upgrade. If you, there are 100 or more counters on you win the game. Ooh, okay. That can get interesting, too. If you can get, if you can just multiply the amount of tokens you get with Vorinclex, for instance, you only need 50. And if you've got uh, doubling season and hardened scales, well, hardened scales on creatures, right? Not sure. Anyway, I'm digressing. Um, gotta stick to the plan here. Uh, we got Asmodeus, the Archfiend, and a Warlock, which is a common. 
Okay, this box is actually uh, pretty good. I did not expect that box to be so good. Uh, I am getting new boxes. I'm actually getting new boxes of uh, Forgotten Realms. I really think this set will do well in the future. I really think this set will... Uh, oh, or Skullport Merchant. The Merchant, that's a good card. Meteor Swarm and a Black Staff, uh, the Black Staff of Waterdeep in foil. The game doesn't stop here, no. Uh, I think uh, uh, this uh, will age well. I, uh, I still have some collector boxes. No, I do not have these on my website. I do not sell these uh, to anybody else. Uh, some I might offer them to my patrons, but that's it. And Tasha's hideous laughter. That is a nasty spell. Um, I might sell it to, uh, to my patrons, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, for now, I'm just going to keep it. And the, the same goes for Kal Kaldheim. I've got some coming too. Um, I'm gonna put it put it in the uh, in the vault and uh, see it in uh, 30 years, and then I'll uh, be able or 20 years, and I'll be able to finally retire and uh, enjoy the cards. Ooh, stronghold! Oh, we got a stronghold card. Dungeon Shade, flying Dungeon Shade gets plus one plus one until end of turn. That is actually one of those abilities. This. Because you don't tap it. So if you've got like 10 black mana available, you can just pump this thing up and hit somebody really hard. I did I did not know that card was in uh, Stronghold. I don't know if it's a rare, but I think it could be a good card. Ooh, and another Temple of the Dragon Queen. I'm going to put it right there. I think it's worth it. If you guys don't, leave it in the comments. Um... Oh, an unexpected windfall. Always handy. Oh, <laughs> we have another mythic. And a Xorn. And we got the Tarask. 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 I'm going to split these up for a second. Uh, there we go. Tarask and uh, Dijini uh, Wine Windseer. Okay. Windseer. Jeez. Sander, your English is not a well. No, I know. Uh, so, um, in conclusion to all of the stuff that's coming out, Lord of the Rings is doing really well. Everybody enjoys it. Everybody wants to see it. Everybody wants to be a part of it. Ochre jelly and uh, nothing and a wolf token. Um, everybody wants to be a part of it. Everybody wants to have a chance at that one ring. Uh, I completely understand, but please do not forget, it's still a set. Uh, so it's, it, when it comes to power, it probably is, you know, a little bit better than the standard stuff. And a treasure vault. Ooh, nice. Uh, I was still missing this one. Now I have it. Treasure vault. Cool. Um, the, um, uh, uh, I, I can, everybody's afraid of the Commander Masters set boxes, or the boxes from Commander Masters. Or master commander, because of Baldur's or uh, uh, Commander Legends Baldur's Gate. Prosperous Innkeeper, cool. Um, monk class, yep. Everybody is afraid of the. Um, here, let me, this box is just flipping. There we go. Um, uh, they're afraid it's going to be another Baldur's Gate kind of a thing. I think they've learned their lesson and that it will be fine. And I think if you really are, are into Commander, it's probably something you should take a look at. Ooh, Oswald, a Fiddlebender, and another Sorcerer's Class in Foil. Nice. Oh, and a list card from uh, Ravnica... Uh, Le uh, no, Guilds of Ravnica. Yep, that's it. Guilds of Ravnica. Um, last three packs, everybody. So please do not forget, there is life after Lord of the Rings. There is uh, Commander Masters. There is Eldraine stuff coming. Eldraine's going to be really cool. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. Paladin class, a really nice. And a uh, you can find a curse, or you find a cursed idol. 
Uh, two more packs. Um, yeah, so keep that in mind. Um, don't miss out on the Commander Masters stuff. Because uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's going to be good stuff in it. Skullport Merchant, uh, Kalein, and these are all good cards, man. And they're uncommons. I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> Morden Kynan coming in for the close. Oh man, are you serious right now? Are you? Are you really? <sighs> okay. So here we go. Last pack. I'm, I'm getting all excited. Uh, please leave uh, the comment if you're still here. Uh, leave a like and subscribe and everything. You know how it works. Uh, it really helps out the channel. And I really need the support and the subscribers. Dungeon map. Uh, that's an uncommon. And we got Instrument of the Bards with a wild shape and a treasure. All right. Thank you very much for sticking around. Uh, we actually got 2, 4, 6, 8, 12... 12 mythics unbelievable but uh if you heard a pigeon just there yeah uh, you're right they are nesting somewhere in the neighborhood and i really don't like all the shit that they're throwing at me unlike you guys because you don't throw any shit at me i wish you all a very good weekend hope you enjoyed it and until next time and i'll see you guys and gals in the next video